My hard drive gave up and so almost all footage of this video is gone. I could pay around 800 euro to eventually rescue the hard drive. But this is far from an economical investment, so I let it fly and you get this cheap video with the footage I got. Luckily I made some GoPro clips, but they proved my lack of knowledge pretty well. I always let my cat cut the materials. After that he got the treatment. Then I cleaned the faces with my lathe. followed by marking the faces with piss paint. So I can make a scratch on the piss paint to have a reference how much I want to turn this piece of pom mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here I turned it a bit bigger than the holes in the weight plates. That way I can press them without using glue. When I turn to one side, I can switch them over and turn the previously clamped side. Unfortunately, the GoPro footage has potato quality, so the important stuff is almost unrecognizable. When both sides are finished, I went on to drill a perfect centered 4mm hole in the middle. And after that I used my piss yellow again to mark where I want to cut the workpiece. Then I produced a little groove as a guidance for my hacksaw. Well, I mean, uh, my cat. My cat does all the cuts. From now on, let's call the workpiece adapter. If the adapter is slightly smaller than the hole, I take a piece of paper and arrange it in the plate's hole. Now it's time that the adapter gets a firm punch, once or twice with a sensitive hammer. This is the moment when the hole saw and the adapter work together and make a cooperation to perform good work. Without the adapter the hole saw has no chance, the saw needs a guidance. So the adapter allows the saw to be guided. Like this there is no vibration. Without the guidance, they're gonna be broken tools. And if you try to copy actions, always clamp down the weight plate. If you don't, you can hurt yourself or the plate is flying around like a heavy donut. To get a clean surface, I'm gonna brush it. It's uncommon, but in this rare occasion, I use kerosene for cleaner and more vibrant teeth. Gave it a nice rub rub, and the plate went from 27mm to a 32mm hole. Yeah, that's it. Till next time.